Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into top 10 best features of Samsung's new One UI 8 update. Now, before we get started, make sure your phone has been updated to One UI 8.0. If you're still on One UI 7 or earlier, you won't see these features yet. You can check by going into settings, software update, and here tap on download and install. All right, let's break down the 10 biggest improvements that One UI 8 brings and why they're such a game changer. So let's begin. So feature number one is your Galaxy AI enhancements. So One UI 8 supercharges Samsung Galaxy's AI with tools like live call captions, smarter now brief, AI powered portrait generations. Call caption gives you real time subtitles during phone calls. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So to turn on the call caption, go ahead and tap on the phone icon here, then tap on the three dots, and then tap on settings. Now next, find call captions, which is right here. Tap on this, and you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will show what each person says on a screen during a call. Caption can be useful when hearing is difficult. So if needed, you need to inform the other person that call is being captioned. So here you can go ahead and choose all the languages which are available. I'll go ahead and choose English, and let me demonstrate this for you. So when you're on a call like this, you have this call caption button here, just here, the top right. You can go ahead and tap on this, and this will now turn on call captions. So now whatever I say, it'll basically give me captions on that. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am fine, thank you. So as you can see, this basically gives you a real-time subtitles during a phone call. Now, the next feature which I wanna talk about is your Now Brief. The Now Brief will basically give you personalized summaries and updates. And with the AI Portrait feature, you can enhance your photo automatically. So this isn't just a cosmetic upgrade, it changes how you communicate, create, you can understand conversation more easily, especially across languages or in noisy places. Your photo looks professional without any editing skills, and Now Brief helps you stay on top of your day without constant checking. Feature number two is where you have enhanced multitasking. Split screen apps now use the entire display edge and pop-up windows have smoother animations with rounder corners. So drag and drop between apps has now been refined. So let me show you the split screen app changes which Samsung has made on One UI 8.0. So here we'll go ahead and open up two apps in split screen mode, so one YouTube, and the other one is Amazon Shopping. So as you can see, there is a line here where you can basically adjust how much of the workspace the particular app you want to use. In One UI 8.0, you can go ahead and drag it all the way down here. And as you can see, you can go ahead and use this app here. And if you wanna go ahead and switch over to the second app, which is down below here, you can go, go ahead and tap on this. And this will bring the bottom app to the full screen. So it will use the whole workspace. Now like this, you can go ahead and switch between all these apps. So I can switch between YouTube and I can switch between Amazon. Now next, with this pop-up view, you have rounded corners and you have a new toolbar. So if you're a multitasker, this makes a huge difference. So working on documents while messaging or studying while browsing, it feels smoother and more natural. No more clunky resizing, no more awkward layouts, just fluid productivity. Feature number three is where you have a revamped quick share menu. So quick share has a fresh new design with two tabs, send and receive. So here is an example. If I have this picture here, I can go ahead and share this and you will see this newly designed menu. From the sharing menu, you can go ahead and tap on quick share and this will take you to the revamped quick share menu. So as you can see, you have nice graphics in the receive tab and you have the send tab where you can send items along. So you have an animated background that makes file transfer visually engaging. So stability for large files has also been improved from this. So file sharing is no longer a headache. You can quickly send photos, videos, or documents to friends without worrying about failed transfer. So the new design also makes it more fun. Feature number four is where your battery protection mode has been updated. So Samsung added three charging modes, basic, maximum, and adaptive. So adaptive mode pauses charging overnight and finishes right before you wake up. So let me first show you the menu. If you go into settings, scroll down and find battery. Now here you'll go ahead and find battery protection, turn it on. 
And here you'll see the new menu. So before we had basic, maximum, and adaptive protection. However, now they have basically taken adaptive protection and added it into basic. So if I go ahead and move over to maximum, the adaptive protection disappears. So when you go ahead and choose basic, you can go ahead and turn on adaptive protection. So adaptive protection will basically stop charging at 80% while you're asleep. And then it finishes charging to 100% just before you wake up. So it basically learns your sleeping habits and when you touch your phone. On maximum, you can go ahead and choose your percentage of when your battery should stop charging. I would highly recommend it, keep it to basic, and then turn on adaptive protection. So this protects your phone battery in long run. No more worrying about leaving your phone plugged in overnight. Samsung's AI charging keeps your device healthy while still making sure it's ready to go in the morning. Feature number five is where you have the predictive back gesture. So with the update of One UI 8.0, this feature gives you a preview of screen you can go back to before the gesture is complete. So to turn it on, you wanna go ahead and first bring down settings, scroll down and find advanced features, tap on labs, and here you wanna find the back swipe preview. So go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will show you a preview of screen you'll go back to when you start swiping from the edge of the screen. Now go back. Now here you wanna make sure your navigation bar has disappeared and you're using gesture control. So you can do this by going to display, navigation bar, and here you wanna make sure swipe gesture is enabled. Now once that's done, you wanna go ahead and try it out. So here I'll go ahead and try it out on settings. Let's go ahead and tap on Galaxy AI. Now I can go ahead and swipe back and here I'll go ahead and see a preview of what menu is behind this. So if I go ahead and complete this, this is what I'll get. Example of that. So this gives me a predictive back gesture. So it makes navigation smarter, it reduces mistake. So no more swiping back only to accidentally exit the app. It saves time and makes your phone feel more intuitive. Feature number six is where you have your lock screen adaptive clock. So One UI 8.0 introduces a redesigned lock screen clock that adapts dynamically to your wallpaper. So instead of being a static style or a fixed color, the clock intelligently changes its font, contrast, and even style based on the background image. So this ensures that no matter what wallpaper you set, bright, dark, or colorful, the time display remains clear, legible, and stylish. So Samsung has also added a smooth animation, making the clock feel more alive as it transitions with the lock screen. So in order to get the lock screen adaptive clock, first you need to go ahead and long press on your home screen, tap on wallpaper and style, now tap on your lock screen. Now here you need to go ahead and put a wallpaper where you have a subject. So here I've got this kitten. Now to turn on the adaptive clock display, you wanna go ahead and tap on your clock. Now from font and color, you wanna go ahead and choose this icon here, which basically moves. So as you can see, this number 12 is moving up and down. Go ahead and choose that. Now, if you don't get to choose that or it's grayed out, you need to go ahead and change the style. So change the style to something like this, not something from the clock face. You need to go ahead and choose something which Samsung gives as default. So I'll go ahead and choose that. Tap on font and color, I'll choose this. Now you can go ahead and customize this. So you can go ahead and move this anywhere you like. Let's go ahead and make this a bit bigger. And now as you can see, once I start moving, the number's size changes according to where the subject is. Once you're happy, tap done. So this gives you an improved readability. So the adaptive clock automatically adjusts itself so the time is always visible. You have a personalized aesthetic, you have reduced manual adjustments, and your phone feels very premium. Feature number seven is where you have a revamped secure folder with the update of One UI 8.0, you can now auto-close apps when the folder locks. You can restrict background activity and even hide the folder completely. So this is an ultimate privacy feature. So whether it's a work file, financial apps, or personal content, Secure Folder ensures nobody else can access it or even know it exists. Feature number eight is where you have your lock screen enhancements. So here on your lock screen, the widgets are more larger and it's easier to read. So the now playing bar is more brighter on your lock screen. So your lock screen is now both stylish and useful. So at a glance, you get music controls, weather, and other information, and it looks more unique to your setup. Feature number nine is your app drawer, search improvements. 
Search results are now organized into categories like apps, contacts, settings, files, screenshots, and downloads. So the search panel also expands and collapse more smoothly. So here's an example. We'll go ahead and do a search. We'll go ahead and do a search on, let's say, a dog. So this will now search for a dog in my settings, in documents, in web searches, in YouTube. I can tap on show more. And this will basically look through all this calendar, my Galaxy Watch 6 Manager, in gallery, in tips, in widgets, in Spotify. I can go ahead and collapse any of them. And this will show me more. So finding what you need is faster than ever. Whether it's an app, a saved document, or even a screenshot, the new search system helps you get there instantly without endless scrolling. And lastly, feature number 10 is where you have your private album feature. So a hidden album has been added inside your gallery that can only be accessed with biometrics and doesn't appear in my files. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So tap on gallery, next tap on menu, and here tap on settings. Now here you need to go and scroll down and find Gallery Labs. Now if you don't see it, tap on About Gallery, tap multiple times until you get a message saying Gallery Labs has been enabled. So this is a secret menu, tap on it, turn the menu on, and then here find Private Albums and go ahead and turn this feature on. Now go back. Now next, go ahead and close Gallery. Restart it again and then go ahead and choose a photo where you wanna move it to private album. So let's say for example, this photo here, go ahead and long press on this, tap on more, and then go ahead and tap on move to private album. So this will move it to a private album. Now to access your private album, you need to tap on menu and then find private album. Go ahead and use your pin or your fingerprint. And once authenticated, you'll see your private albums where you have all your photos there. So it's an extra layer of security for your sensitive photos or videos. Even if someone gets into a gallery, your private album remains completely invisible. So there you have it, the top 10 best features of One UI 8. These updates will make your phone smarter, more private, and more enjoyable to use every day. Once again, make sure your phone is updated to One UI 8, or else you won't see these updates. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, drop a comment below telling me your favorite One UI 8 features, and subscribe with the bell icon so you never miss my future updates and deep dives into Samsung's latest features. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.